Welcome back everyone to the 100 Baby Challenge. Uh, you see, last episode was a little bit of a, of a stranger one, I guess you can say. Uh, and I'm not sure if many people know this, but Weeks' aspiration is actually a heartbreaker and she wants to be the girlfriend of 10 different Sims. And we're one Sim short, and so, I mean, we are going to ask Kay to be our boyfriend. But but no worries, it's very why oh my god. Oh my god. Get out of my way. Who is this? Wilbur. Oh my god. So yes, we're one sim short. This means that we're just completing our aspiration right now, and if you can see, we should get a bunch of po no we didn't get any points. Hold on, what? Uh, why settle for a long-term romantic relationship or monogamy when there are so many attractive sims out there? Your sim can find a lifetime's enjoyment by seeing many different sims. Such a romantically nomadic, such a romantically nomadic lifestyle is all well and good if your sim's many former lovers can be kept at a reasonably safe distance, lest jealousy rear its vengeful, vengeful head. Um, so I I don't know about you, but that says ten out of ten. We have 10 out of 10, and I'm not too sure what's not working, but anyways, uh, either way, we're breaking up with Kay because uh, we, I, we need to move on from this relationship. I'm, re I'm ready to leave. <laughs> oh, I forgot to do the hide headlines. You know what? You know what? It's fine. Um, I'll do that now. Hide headline effects. And uh, all that means is it prevents further headline effects from taking place. Uh, it doesn't remove the ones that are already there. So we can take one with, we can take a photo with all the headline effects and everything going on. Because why not? Uh, we don't have very many pictures with headline effects. So. <laughs> uh, I hate, <laughs> I mean, I hate to break his heart, but also I just, I, we can't do this. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kay. Oh, there it is! Aw, oh, you couldn't even hear the whole jingle jangle. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, that's the TV. Aw, oh, you're supposed to hear a good little jingle jangle when you complete the lifetime aspiration. Weak Wang has completed her lifetime wish and has gained plenty of lifetime experience to spend. What will her next goal be? So... My question is, can we change our lifetime aspiration? If we go in here, I'm sure it's one of the more expensive ones, but I almost feel like it's worth it most of the time. Did I just pass it? Did I pass it? Okay, where would it be? Filter by m motives? Would it be in motives? I don't think so. Okay, let me check for it then. Okay, so I can't actually find where uh, where it would be. I feel like I need to talk over this entire thing or else it's going to get copyright striked, but I want to get the inappropriate in a good way. That way we prevent ourselves from getting kicked out of other people's houses when we uh, behave inappropriately. The other one I want to do is get a my best friend. A Simba joins the family with best friend relationship status to so the Sim who chooses his lifetime wish. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it though because as you can see with the clone voucher, we can't purchase it if our household is full and we have nine sims plus we're pregnant in our household right now which means uh, I'm not sure if the my best friend is going to work but I'm down to try it we should try it um right okay so we cannot add a simbot to your family at this time because the household size is at its maximum so we need we need to kick some sims out of our family and then purchase the reward or else we're not going to be able to do it is what it seems. I want to, I want to make sure that I didn't lose any lifetime uh, lifetime points from that though. So we have okay. There should be okay. Yeah, we couldn't redeem it. Okay, cool. So that didn't reduce any of our points. Look at this. We're very fulfilled for seven days, and it brings us our mood up to plus seventy five. Not like not like we need it. We already have so many lifetime aspiration points. But 
it is interesting just to take note of. So what we're going to do now is, I think Week is just going to use a little bathroom for a little second here. Oh, well, she's also tired, so we're going to go home. And and all of our kids are doing pretty good. I, I want her, a, a part of me wants her to give birth to multiples again. Yet the problem, what are you doing, Kuma? Oh, well, I guess he doesn't have any school. The problem with that is if she does give birth to multiples, then that means that uh, we will never be able to get the clone slash the um, Simba in our family, which which was something I kind of wanted to do. That way, you know, if we bring the Simba into the family, we get to have a child with the Simba. And why is Sekmudinus just... Oh, he's doing his homework, is he? Oh, wait, they don't need to do their homework. They're old enough to grow up. So we're just gonna do the chesting cheats cheat. That way we don't have to throw a party and distract the entire household from the fact that they're growing up because they all have grade grades of A, which means they need to grow up. All three triplets have the grade of A, so all three of them can grow up. And then they can go back to sleeping. I just don't want to forget. Okay. Is he is he not trigger age transition? Oh, he is. What is he doing, though? Is he gonna grow up? No? Oh, can he even grow up if, he, if he's in the Simbot form? Is that why? Activate organic mode. Stop with that birthday party. Stop this madness. Okay, now can you trigger age transition? Yes! Okay, that was the problem. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Okay, go back to sleep, everyone. No, what are they doing? No, uh, stop. Stop. No birthday. I should have brought them out of the different room. I guess if they're in the same room, then they still struggle. Oh, and they can all be geniuses too, because that's what Week wanted. Perfect. So because of her success, we get to choose a, uh, a trait, and we get to choose smart because that's what Week wanted. A genius. There it is. Oh, and this is our werewolf. Yes, yeah, Sandy Squirrel, our werewolf child. I love the hair. <laughs> Great, awesome, fantastic. She gets to go back to bed now. And then week. Oh, she still didn't use the bathroom. Why didn't she use the bathroom? Go use the bathroom and then go sleep. Who's next? I guess they're just queuing up, aren't they? Okay. Oh, it's it's Sek Medinas who's next. Um, double check that. No, 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 no. Why do they always do? No, stop. Don't tell me everyone else is getting up too. Jesus Christ, no. Okay, you know what? I guess they're all gonna wake up. There's nothing I can do. We're just gonna get through the three birthdays and then they're all gonna go back to bed. So Sek Medinas also gets to be a genius if I can find it. Uh, JJ, J why am I so far down the alphabet? Okay, and finally we got to bring up some, some room in Week's uh, wants here. Perfect. Okay. Last child. Swandaha, I believe. Right? Right? Oh my god. Yes, Swandaha. See, this isn't a male... Um, hair hair what do, what do you call it preset so it's kind of interesting this has happened to me multiple times and I don't know what's the co what the cause of it is but it definitely causes me to uh, misgender a couple times sadly unfortunately I might have to change their hairstyle because I'm I'm so hardwired to think that it's only a hairstyle for girls um, she also gets to be a genius perfect perfect awesome Nice. Okay, everyone go back to bed. She did finally use the bathroom though, so okay, go to bed. Sandy also needs to go to bed. Oh, I'm just gonna have to queue everyone up. Okay, this is boring, so I'm just gonna do it off screen. Okay, great. Uh, I 
There are two people who seem to have slept enough now. I think it's the two twins. Yeah, it's the twins, and I'm getting them two instead. Oh no. Grab a bite to eat is what I was gonna say. But who's ghost? Kristen. <gasps> Kristen. Um, we get tired though, so I think we can skip tonight. We don't need to chat with Kristen tonight. Oh my God! Stop complaining. What's wrong? Brian. Brian, you are not invited into my house. Brian, get out of my house. Out now. Out. No, no, no. Asked to leave. I forgot. I forgot that he came to our house. Look at Brian. Oh my god. I mean, I don't really see much of Susan in his face. Well, uh, there's a little bit. There's kind of a little bit of Susan in his face. Definitely his skin tone is darker, but that's because his dad is Itapar. So... No, don't tell me they're all going to get stuck in here. No. Okay, good. There we go. Oh, Woik, what do you want? Oh, vomit. Why can I never get these sims to go to bed? Wait, wh why are you vomiting all the way down? Oh, my God. <sighs> oh, my God. Okay. I don't even know what was just... Why she's happy to vomit or something. I don't know. But, I mean, I guess she's happy now. What is he doing? Go eat food. Oh my god. Okay. Eat some French toast. Is she still doing what she... What are you going to eat some French toast? Yes, she is. Okay, good. Oh, did they see a ghost or something? Is that why they're not doing anything anymore? Go tell him to leave. Leave, uh, Brian. You're not welcome in my house. Are they friends? Oh, no. Okay. Oh my god. Brian's a witch? It's because Itapar is a witch, isn't it? Very interesting, very interesting. Huh. So Brian inherited that from his fa- I need his knees. <coughs> Bless me. Brian inherited that from- inherit Inherited th that from his father. Very interesting. Oh, someone's sick. God. Um, is this paparazzi? No, Rosalind Eggleston. Well... Are, are, are you not going to grab food? I, okay, okay, Jesus. Grab some food, though. Oh, it's because I, I think I asked him to grab some uh, French toast. We're also going to feed Susan. Um, Tell me he eats with chopsticks. No. I think he doesn't have the Asian culture. Oh. Rosalind, what do you want? Oh my god. Okay. Well, uh, now that Dry is not tired anymore, I'm going to get him to get ready for another day of Laser Rhythmicon. Everyone else, you're also getting up. Okay. Can also grab some waffles because we have mounds of waffles. So many waffles everywhere all the time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Was there a ghost or something? Was there a ghost? I don't see a ghost, but anyways. Um, who else is up? What are you doing? Sigmundinus, go. Oh, there's a ghost. Ugh, now they both don't. Oh, I just queued everything up for dry. We should get. A, uh, we should buy a community lot and put our graves there. That way the ghosts don't actually like bother us because it seems like every single night. None of my sims can do anything because they're always distracted by the ghosts. I feel like this was a big problem when the Dominicus lived with us. Because Dominicus was our ghost child and he would always just disturb everyone. Everyone. Anyways, I'm going to get the two teenagers to do their homework together. With Goon's Dig. Because Dry doesn't do his homework. Because Dry's a naughty boy. Ugh, not saying that again. Anyways... Uh, yeah, Dry doesn't do his homework also. Is this a foundation or are these walls? I think it, it's totally a foundation, isn't it? They're not walls that are used with constrained floor elevation at all. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely a foundation. Cool, cool, cool. That would, that would, make, that would make sense because of the one block width... I think, right? 
Actually, let's double check. If it's a wall, we should be able to remove it with the wall tool. So it's a foundation. I was right. My smartness. No, who's making food? Oh, OK. <laughs> Kuma's just feeding Susan. OK, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Do we need to clean the cage at all? No. Show rodent info. Name, Susan, species, chipmunk, rarity, uncommon, value, 11, 111 bucks. I kind of want to find a rat instead and then name that Susan because a chipmunk is just not, you know, it's not, it doesn't feel enough like a rodent, you know? When you think of a rodent, the first thing that comes to mind isn't a, a chipmunk, the first thing that comes to mind is like a rat. At least for me it is. Uh, are the two twins doing their homework together? Okay, yes, they are. Perfect. Hopefully, hopefully, oh, well, they have school in like three days, so that's annoying. But ideally, they all get their homework done. All of these three don't have homework, and he doesn't have homework either, so yay, that's exciting. I think we're going to give birth before anyone moves out, so it's just going to create more sims that we have to uh, get rid of in the household before we invite over a my best friend. If any of that made sense. I'm sure it did. I'm sure the people who have watched up to this point understood what I just said. Anyways, Kuma can go to bed. I think... I feel like I really need to give Sek Medina some makeover, so I'm going to at least change his hairstyle. Because I did that with... Who was it? I did it with Goonsdig, because Goonsdig hairst Goonsdig's hairstyle reminded me too much of Jumamosi, and they also have the exact same skin tone, so in the little icon, I always thought it was Jumamosi, but it's not Jumamosi, she's Goonsdig, so I have to do the same thing with uh, Sek Medina's here. Yeah, as you can see with this little star icon, it's not actually a hairstyle that's offered for males. So I don't... Oh, what's going on with the scalp? Jesus. So I don't really know why so many of my male sims get this hairstyle, but would we be able to save it? Oh no. No, no, no. Bring me back. What happened? <laughs> Did it save? No, it didn't save. Okay. Okay, interesting. I hope that didn't break my game. So... <laughs> what if I gave all of the triplets, like, big, fluffy, you know, roughly hair? That way they look like, you know, werewolves. But only one of them's a werewolf, but they have, like, that werewolf-type hair, you know what I mean? I think we can definitely do that. We could pull that off. I'll, I'll, when they grow up into adults, I'll mix that into their uh, outfit style and give them, give them a look, give them a vibe, you know? You know? Uh, okay, let's see. What can they do? It is fall, so I think every, yeah, all the lakes are frozen over now. But we could still go to the ocean. What's this? Oh, wow. I feel like I've never come here. Maybe I have. Maybe I have. But this is nice. I like this. This is pretty. With the mountains and everything. Oh, and the view of the town. Wow. I like it. I'm very, I'm very impressed. But it's not marked as like a lot or anything, so like Sims don't just go there autonomously. Anyways, we're gonna go, I think, to the beach maybe and fish a little bit. So there are fish right over here. I mean, it's just to give my Sims something to do. So, yeah, because I don't really have any goals for them at all. They're all just kind of here. Or I guess she'll, she might want to eat before she... Yeah, they're both going to want to eat. Okay, interesting. We're going to go pan back to Week. Actually, we're going to we're gonna stay with Dry for a bit, because Week's asleep. So I think with Dry, we're going to bring him back to the library and get him to focus on his laser rhythmicon a little bit more. Uh, how can we improve that skill faster? Is there an elixir we can use? I'm going to actually go visit the elixir shop, the alchemy store, the Elisters. Ali, we're visiting Ali. And we're going to buy some things from the shop. Who's this? Is it Brent? Tor 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 Torrance? LaRue? I like the beach music playing here, though. It's a good vibe. It's a good vibe. I made this shirt, so I thought this was one of my sims, but I guess that's just a saved preset that I had. I feel like I remember the sim I put it on to. I think his name was Ben Blue. Anyways, not not like that's relevant to anything. It doesn't pertain to anything in the story, but you know, just a little fun fact that you should know about me. Okay, oh, is this, oh, why is Rosalind still here? 
Jesus. She's not even paparazzi, so I, I, don't, I can't even explain why she's here. Uh, anyways, are they all going fishing? It looks like it. And these two are going to eat before they go fishing as well. He still needs to sleep quite a bit. How is Ked doing? Ked's doing fine. Yeah, yeah. Ugh, I, I really want Ked and um, Dry to progress, progress their skills faster because it's taking a long time. Ked should have moved out like ages ago. But he's still around. And why? Mm -hmm. We'll collect some ingredients for him, I guess, though. Um, I wonder... Should we give... what? How does the procreation elixir work? I think we, we must already have it, though. We must... I feel like by this point, Ked would know it. But we might want to check it out, just in case. Bottled mummy? What if we made one of our children a mummy? <gasps> what if Kristen's... Child, what if we transformed Kristen's child into a mummy? I kind of hate it, so we're gonna do it. Wish enhancing, double down on lifetime. Ha <gasps> we could have done that for when we got her lifetime aspiration complete, but you know what? That's too. That's too much. We already have way too much lifetime aspiration points, anyways. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're gonna stay here and practice our laser rhythm con here, and then I also need to pan back to Ked and give him these ingredients. Uh, just so that, because I, I don't, Dry has no use for them, so give these all to Ked. And then we'll give the potion to Weak, and also all of these limes are also weak, so we'll give those back to her. Uh, he still has the parakeet. Interesting. I thought the parakeet would have, like, vanished or, like, run away by now. I don't know why he still has it. Anyways, uh, now that Ked is almost awake... Oh, finally. Kristen's gone. Okay, we're gonna grab some waffles as soon as he's fully rested. And then uh, clean out some ba the bad food because it's been in that fridge for a long time. Uh, way too long, if you ask me. We're gonna use this. Oh. Is everything in our house magically upgraded? I think it is. I think it is. Uh, but I think this is broken. Yeah, it is. Uh, so if we tried teleporting somewhere, it might not bring us there. Yeah. Okay, interesting. We're gonna repair that too. Well, actually, he's he's not gonna repair that. Week should repair that instead. When Week gets up, I'm gonna get her to actually cook. Some oh wait, but it's breakfast again. Oh, it's only ever breakfast when we make food, isn't it? That's annoying. Okay, well, when Week wakes up, she can also grab some waffles. We have so many waffles, so it's not like we're gonna run out anytime soon. <laughs> I say as we're probably gonna run out. Uh, and then she can repair the teleportation pad and take a shower. Oh, she has to clean it first. Take a bath. And then you can clean the shower. I actually clean the shower and then take a bath. That makes more sense in my head. It sounds more logical if you ask me. Okay, Dry is practicing his laser the con. They're fishing. You're getting up. So you can use this and shower. Make sure that we can... Okay, yeah, we, yeah, okay, you have time to do that. And then you can eat afterwards as well. You know what? Maybe we won't have any, uh, too many waffles left because everyone's eating waffles. A lot of waffles and a lot of waffles. <laughs> so maybe we won't have that many left after all. Okay. Uh, then afterwards I want to make sure Ked knows the Procreation Elixir recipe. So, we're going to go mix the elixir. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay, okay, okay. I, there's a lot. Okay, this is so foreign to me. Everyone's actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. This makes me really happy. I'm not going to lie. Minus a little bouts of lag, but you know what, what can you do? In moments of... Sims... What am I trying to say? Uh, okay, the door is big enough for both of you to fit through. I'm not sure if you recognize that. But just so you know, it is. Um, 
Okay, you're grabbing food after you grab the food. Why is she still standing at the door? Okay. After you grab the food. Who's running away? Oh, that's a deer. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to go over here next. Everyone just fishing. Is she insane? Why is she in her bathing suit? No, she's not. Why is she in her bathing suit? Did she, like, go for a swim before she started fishing? Interesting. Uh, you're going to go fishing too then. Oops. And then you're also going to go fishing. Yes, that sounds like a plan. And then when you wake up, you're also going to go fishing. We're going to get everyone fishing here, and it's just going to be one big happy squad, squabble, flock of children <laughs> fishing. Uh, let's pan, pan back to the kid, make sure that he knows how to make the procreation elixir. He does. So what does it say? This increases the chance of conception. And twins and triplets are also more, much more likely. So we can only, I think we can only drink this when Weak is um, trying for a baby. I think that's how we're supposed to use it. I think. I'm not too sure though. I can't be sure. Oh, she should also listen back to her kids channel music too. Okay, so we're going to focus on the kids' channel music. Ultimately, I still want her to have multiple children. So, listen to music. Oh, boy. Um, and what was the one that we were focusing... Be Gronk. Be Gronk was definitely a children's station. Okay, perfect. Good, she's listening to the music now. And then, when she's done with everything in her queue, she can go back to the library and keep learning uh, her her gardening and actually I want to go visit our old house and make sure that we have nothing to harvest doesn't look like it looks like everything's dormant okay good then in that case you know what I feel like it's almost worth it to buy just buy the book at the bookstore but then at the same time, I feel like the library gives you a little bit of a boost in skill progression. So we're, we're going to stay here for now. And of course, we're running out of books because I don't know where they just magically disappear. But they all, all, all always disappear. Okay. Um, also, I don't, is, is private school a thing in The Sims 3? I know it's a thing in The Sims 2, but... She wants to... Uh, rich and famous was... Oh, you're still every star level 1. Right. Right, okay. You can keep dreaming. Uh, let's make a potent invigorating elixir. What's this? Go out on the town. I mean, aren't like aren't you already? And do they all have they all want to like do stuff with fish, don't they? So we can promise the fish items just for now. I mean, it's not like I really do anything with them. You know, you know. Okay, cool. Uh, play laser them con for at least six sims. That sounds exciting. Let's try it. Okay, back to dry. How many people are watching? One, not even. Okay, fun. Uh, I thought the laser shop had harvest harvestable harvestables. I guess they don't. Oh, this is a rodent. That's like a little mole rat. That's exactly like Susan. Uh, can we make... We can't make any more potent invigorating elixirs. Okay, that's okay. That is okay. We'll make another essence of magic then. And then I think that's the last one in Ked's Q. So then afterwards, when he's done with that, we'll go visit Susan again. <laughs> Weak fixing the teleportation pad. Loving it. Uh, go back down to Susan, watch Susan, and then keep practicing your magic. I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, give yourself even the hygiene charm. Yes, and then keep playing with magic. I think that's how we're going to go. That's how we're going to pursue this. How is Week still not showing a baby bump? I feel like it's been such a long time since we tried for a baby. Anyways... I guess it's just not how it works. It doesn't always work like that. Everyone's still fishing. Great, good, awesome. 
Even the child? Even the child. Oh, this is amazing. Everyone's actually listening to my directives. In what world? When does this happen? Never. Wow. I'm in disbelief. I have nothing to complain about. <laughs> wow. Ooh, actually, can Ked uh, magically upgrade this? Magically upgrade to perfect teleportation. Let's make it unbreakable. I don't really care about perfect teleportation, not gonna lie. Oh, but we also want Susan to be out there. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna move this indoors. We can't do that? Can't intersect. Okay, we're gonna move it here. There we go. That should be fine then. Is this Ro why is Rosalind inside our house? She's paparazzi all of a sudden. Oh, so now you're paparazzi, and that's why you have every excuse to come hang out in my house. No one invited her. Rosalind, get out of my house. Can I lock her in the bathroom? I'm gonna lock her in the bathroom. Lock for everybody, and no one can use this bathroom for now. It's off limits. Let's try and see if we can, you know, lock Rosalind in here. <gasps> Maybe we can invite Grim. Maybe if she dies, we can try for a baby with Grim. It takes a long time for Sims to die, so that would probably maybe work, but I also fear that paparazzi will just kind of vanish out of your house when they feel like it. Honestly, kind of unsettling, kind of gets on my nerves. Not unsettling, but it gets on my nerves. Um, okay, everyone's... Wow, I have nothing to complain about. Everything is perfect in the world. Uh, I'm going to bring Dry back, though, because he has a couple charms that Ked can perform on him. Honestly, at, at this point, I do think... I do think that the skill progression for the ma magicians uh, is, is related to the amount of time spent and not the amount of magic spent. But that's just... I'm just guessing. Oh, baby? Baby bump time? It's baby bump time, baby! Let us see the baby bump. Come on, week. There we go. Wait, is it Saturday? We tried for the baby on Friday. That's right. Where's her maternity outfit? There it is. Your smile is kind of creeping me out, week. I'm not going to lie. Here we go. Actually, let's raise the walls. Next baby. This baby is... um. The, we, the father is of unknown origins. We don't know the father. Uh, she just kind of got pregnant is how it went down. That's how it worked. That's how it worked this time. Okay, uh, then she's going to go to the bathroom and then go to the library. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, definitely a little bit more ch more laid back than the last couple episodes, I feel, because uh, my sims actually listened to me for once in their lives. And no one, well, for the most part, no one really came to bother me. And, like paparazzi this episode wasn't too horrendous, too unforgivable. Uh, honestly, Rosalind didn't get too much up in my business even if she is up in my house and she's in my house um anyways <laughs> uh before we end off the episode i'm just gonna cast a couple charms on dry so we're gonna do the Ooh, what curses do we have just a haunting and totification okay we're gonna do the what was it hunger and bladder i think right yes it was Please stay in the kitchen this time. Please, please, for my mental well-being. Hello. Here we go. <gasps> yes. 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 Why can't they do this all the time? Little Susan, oh my god. Okay, and then Ked is also going to do a magical upgrade, make it unbreakable, and then Dry can go to... The library and distract everyone in the library from bothering Week with their with her celebrity status. So, I think what we do is we go over here, and then we're gonna practice our laser rhythm con, and then we're gonna end off the episode. So yeah, as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Definitely more laid back because everyone's listening to me. I think all of my teenagers are still fishing. Plus, plus Kuma, 
so really it's a really good episode this episode wow and yeah i hope that you guys have a wonderful week oh my god walk up the stairs it's not that it's not that serious there you go okay awesome and week is already here week beat us to it dante is here though so Urgh! but that is okay we're gonna play for tips and one last thing before we go i'm gonna make sure hello did you already finish your upgrade one last thing I wanted to check on. Is it already upgraded? Oh my god, he did that so quickly. Rosalind is still here. That was the last thing I wanted to check on. Okay, awesome. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the episode, and I'll see you guys next one. Have a great one.